Today we're going to go over South American black metal. We're going to do a top six again and stick around for the bonus. Uh, the bonus is going to be rather extensive. Uh, going to give a lot of uh, what I would call A tier and B tier bands that you should definitely check out also. Now, once again, uh, we're sticking with the 80s and 90s like I do. So, we're going to start in Peru. Number six, a band called Hades. They're, in 1993, they released this album called Aqualair. It's a, it's a great combination of, of death metal, black metal, and thrash metal coming together. For me, it epitomizes, it's, it's the apex of what you may refer to as the South American black metal sound. Uh, while you will definitely find a wide variety of types of black metal, very diverse throughout the continent of South America, there, there is a recurring sound, and I would say this album epitomizes that more so than any other release. It's, it's, it's a solid album throughout and uh, I would highly recommend checking. Have a listen. Number five, we're going to move over to the country of Colombia. The band I'm going to suggest you listen to is Typhon. They released an album called Unholy Trilogy. And on this album, there was a song called Life Eternal, uh, with lyrics penned by uh, a Norwegian by the name of Dead. Yes, that same guy. Apparently, he was a pen pal with a gentleman who was a member of this band, Typhon. Uh, I think Typhon had... Uh, ties to a record label in Colombia also, and they, they bootlegged the Dawn of the Black Hearts Mayhem album. I may be remembering that incorrectly. I can't remember. Uh, but for Typhon, uh, you need to know they are a heavy metal, thrash metal, black metal combination. They're, they're fun. They're catchy. They remind me of Abigail from this era. Abigail, the, the Japanese band. Uh, it's, it's riffage. It's catchy. Uh, check them out. country on the continent. That would obviously be Brazil. Uh, while they have many, many bands from which you could rightly suggest that I choose, uh, I'm going with Mystifier. And the album I choose of theirs uh, is it's a long one. Uh, the world is so good that who made it doesn't live here. It's much different than their 93 album, Goisha. Goisha. Uh, that's not as straightforward. Their keyboards are much more pronounced. The uh, operatic vocals uh, throughout uh, show up more than once. Uh, it, it gets into oddball territory. Uh, it's good stuff. I, I highly recommend, recommend you check it out. <laughs> same country here, still in Brazil, going with uh, Apocalyptic Raids. Uh, just by the name alone, you can tell they, they have some influence from Hellhammer, and 
I would say this is the first example of the, the Hellhammer worship type bands. <laughs> This was produced in 1999, their demo. It's, it's more of a rehearsal, but it, it doesn't showcase so much of that uh, Hellhammer sound. They, they still have more of a unique sound mixed with that Hellhammer sound. Uh, I would say this is one well worth checking out. <laughs> Argentina, uh, the band I'm going to recommend, it's the one I messed up on in my uh, top 50 albums, check that out if you want, uh, the band is Boxoxa, uh, their album is something in German, uh, starts with an E, uh, check out the list below, Ch any of my mispronunciations or anything, check out the list below, it's the easiest way uh, to figure out what I'm trying to say, but uh, this is the one that I got confused with the very similarly sounding, from the same era, German band, uh, who are good, but this one I supremely recommend, and uh, check out the link. Number one, my favorite South American black metal release from the 80s and 90s. We're going back to Colombia here, 1998. Obviously, it's Inquisition, with their Into the Infernal Regions of the Ancient Cult. Another long title there. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. You should be familiar with Inquisition by now. They have a very unique tone, very unique sound, not just in the music, but especially the vocals. People... Uh, refer to them as frog vocals, and I, I will do the same. It's uh, they are unique, uh, very good. Yes, the the band, the member, the individual has has moved to the United States decades ago. Check it out. My favorite of all the South American black metal. Time for the bonus. I'd love to give you a bonus. This one's a little bit more in depth than any of the other bonuses, bonus I, boni, that I've uh, that I've had on my videos leading up to this one. So here are a list of let's say 50. I'm going to give you 50 more releases from the 80s and 90s produced in South America that are worthy of your time. This is a, a list that is was whittled down from. Uh, one of maybe 200 bands I've listened to from that time and place. I've, I've put together these lists over the course of years. Uh, these are the, the best ones that I would like to direct you to. Of course, I'm not going to memorize all this, and I've, I've got it printed out right here. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do a little trivia. I'm going to make this kind of fun. Uh, here's another trivia. If, if you can identify this film that's been playing up here, put it in the comments. I would be very impressed. All right. So let's see, what country are we talking about here? Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's named for the, its latitude. Okay, obviously that's Ecuador. Uh, now I, I'm familiar with, according to my list here, 11 black metal bands from Ecuador who produced some release in the 80s and 90s, but, but from that list, uh, 
I've got three here that are, I consider to be an A or B tier band. Uh, once again, everything's going to be in a list in the description for any of my mispronunciations or things I happen to gloss over for whatever reason. Uh, an early band, first wave stuff from Ecuador, Incarnatus, uh, Ritos de Muerte, Rites of Death, maybe? Uh, then also check out Lord Devastator's Infection, Destruction, Holocaust, and uh, Total Deaths, uh, Silenzo de Soledad. Alright, uh, next country, what, is, what should we do here? How about, uh, now that's, it's where Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, at least the movie, I don't know the real history, it's where it ended. What else? It's a landlocked nation that has a navy. Damn you, Chile. It's Bolivia. Bolivia. Uh, from my list, uh, according to my list that I've kept, uh, I've listened to seven black metal bands from this time, 80s and 90s, and, and there's two I'd like to, uh, I'd like to recommend. Uh, Infernal, Infernal Malice, and their Eternal Flames of Malice, and Imperio Nocturno, Opus... Harem, uh, oh, I see what they did. It's Baphomet backwards. Look, look for that. Uh, Opus Baphomet, essentially. It'll be in the list. What's the other landlocked country? All oh, right, it's Paraguay. Uh, congratulations to you, one person. Uh, according to this, seven bands that I'm familiar with in Paraguay, uh, two of them I want to recommend to you. That's uh, a Gorgos demo and Diabolical's Dominus Infernal release. Uh, what's the uh, country with Machu Picchu? I think it's where Green Inferno was filmed. That's right, it's Peru. Peru is uh, a sizable nation with a sizable populace. And so I found 14 black metal bands from that country. Uh, a few I would like to recommend to you uh, our Black Angel with their rights, Pastor, which is, uh, I think the first one formed there. I could be mistaken, but it is some good first wave, uh, that classic first wave sound. Uh, the uh, Sakta Herje, Herhe release. Uh, and the Nahul's Coven. Now, they also had a fantastic death metal scene in Peru, probably stronger than any other country outside of Brazil for that entire continent and so uh, in the periphery uh, y y you may want to definitely listen to Mortem uh, and their Demon Tales album. It is more death metal than it is black metal definitely but it is fantastic. So don't forget that one. Uh, what if I just say hyperinflation? Yes, it's, it's Venezuela. Uh, they're, they're, the only one I'm going to recommend from Venezuela is a band called Lignum Crucis, uh, Just Before Dawn. Um, what's the most peaceful country? In fact, uh, I think they're referred to as the Switzerland of South America. Uh, not only in crime, but also in terms of uh, their, their neutrality. Those neutrals, you can't trust them. You don't know what side they're on. I don't remember how the line goes. Uh, that, that, of course, would be Uruguay. And uh, their Requiem Anternum, uh, Latin, I'm not good with either, apparently. Uh, Eternally Dying, that's the one I would recommend you check out. Uh, let's do some of the larger countries now. Uh, what country? It's the skinniest country. It's Chile. Chile? I'm not sure. Uh, Amet with their Steel Inferno and Bewitched Dragonflight. Uh, both of those definitely check out. And also, death metal related, but so good. Ancillary, it's, it's right there in the periphery. Uh, Pentagram, their, their Demo 2 album. <laughs> Named 
this this country was named for the silver that was found in its river, I believe. Yes. Uh, there were a whole bunch of sword and sorcery films from the 80s film there for some reason. The Deathstalker series, Barbarian Queen, Wizards of the... Lo I got some of these here. I, I, might have, I don't have all of them. Uh, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom, Warrior and the Sorceress. Uh, this is Argentina I refer to. They had some strange connection with Roger Corman. That explains that. Uh, so in Argentina, uh, I had found 11, 11 black metal bands from the 80s and 90s. Uh, the ones I, I would recommend that you check out. There's a couple early ones, uh, first wave stuff. Uh, Cerbero, En uh, Vivo, way back in 86. Uh, then Reno Sangrinto, their first demo. And, uh, first wave stuff, definitely check it out. But also check out a band called Vivian Black. They released a... A live demo in at the end of the 90s there are two countries left it looks like you could probably guess them uh, this is where romancing the stone takes place for the most part outside of New York City um, you know there's there's too many bands here that I'm willing to read uh, I'm just gonna put them on the screen here uh, somewhere probably over here Maybe, yeah I'm gonna do the whole screen <laughs> country I have is the largest country so we're dealing with the exact same problem I am not gonna read through all of these bands uh, over 70 black metal bands from Brazil from the 80s and 90s that I've listened to I've, I've whittled it down to uh, this looks like about 15 or so uh, you can count them on here you can pause it I'm gonna put it on the screen for about 30 seconds maybe play a tune or two Thank you very much for sticking all the way to the end. I, I hope I was able to show you a couple bands that you already knew. And if you already knew all of these, congratulations, you're as big as nerd as I am, but I guess we can be friends then, right? Well, thank you, and drink a lot of water. <laughs>